I'm standing in front of the fire, warming myself for a minute, and then I'm gonna show you where we're at in our basement, because I haven't given you an update of it. Our basement is one of those hot spots that basically needs to be tidied every day. So much in and out, so much farm activity, all that sort of stuff. So keep in mind, we tidy it about three or four o'clock every day, and it's about one o'clock right now, so it's kind of at like its peak needs to be tidy, but this is my window of time to video it. So we're gonna do it. These shelves are new since you have been here and I moved all of our non-edible consumables. So we have toilet paper, that's deer fat that's been rendered, chainsaws of course, <laughs> um, laundry soap and dish soap and dishwasher soap and some scrubbies and wet wipes and diapers and oh, an ice auger of course. The black garbage bags have buns that a family member got from a bakery for our pigs. Those need to be moved to there. He just pumped water. So along here, Mary's been organizing stuff up here, hanging things, hanging the moose head, of course. That's the one he got this year. He used um, Magnetic. These are Mastercraft brand. They're his favorite strips we have two of them in the kitchen as well those are empty wine bottles that will soon be filled we have saskatoon wine at the u brew it needs to be bottled next week i think tools 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 milk and whey i think that's more bread we got a whole bunch of it those are for the pigs mac brings one every feeding that's skim milk so trampoline the pump stuff goes on there for pumping water. I got more buckets with gamma lids, but I haven't needed to fill them yet. I'm going to give you a separate video of a pantry tour. Um, up here, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be chucked. Those were given to us. They really just need to be chucked. They're disgusting. Now, Marius, oh, the kids just started vacuuming apparently. This room is what Marius is working on. So he kind of tore things apart and I haven't been able to put them back together yet. But we've got a bunch more shelves for putting jars on as well as just things that are on the floor. And he said he's doing something else in here. And I asked what, and he said, I was just gonna have to wait and see. Right here's a real hot spot of where kids hang up their clothes and it's not working. This room in here, is hot mess express so the pool table is going to get taken down and put away because it just doesn't get used with used enough to justify taking up so much space it's bumper pool um so mary's is going to move the fridge over because this is mostly stuff just junk under there and the car seat's going to be in use soon anyways and he's going to build shelves along there he said i think he said there's going to be shelves for like 18 totes all along here, there needs to kind of stay clear. And then in here, he's gonna do two rack dowlings for hanging clothes hangers, for hanging up winter clothes, like all our backups. Like everybody has two of everything, but for the most part, we don't need to have two of everything out here. They can have their backups. Like this is Freya's backup snowsuit that she rarely wears, cause it's not her favorite but I don't want to put away in the totes. I still need to have it out. You know, there's Rowan's backup snowsuit. There's a backup jacket of mine. It just, it needs to be out of this hot spot. So just by putting it in here and we'll do like jackets on top and snow pants on the bottom, something like that. So I'm excited about that. That's his next step. He has all the supplies to do that. He just hasn't got there yet. Yesterday we sat down and made a list. I'm gonna stand in front of the fire here again cozy on my backside. We made a list of all the things we need to do before the baby comes. So what are the house projects that Marius wants to get done before then? What's priority? Um, in a month, which is sooner than the babies do, our high producing milk cow Mossy will be dry for calving. So what sort of things, like how much butter do we need to make sure we get into the freezer? Where are we at for cheese? What do I need to make for cheese? I need to, you know, inventory a few things and make a goal for things like that. 
The other thing is that um, if you're new around here, I am not really able to nurse our babies. I nursed the first three and then I had chronic acute mastitis with all of them that just every time I was hospitalized multiple times. So by Rowan, we decided that that was not happening anymore. And we had heard about raw milk formula and then we had friends who were using it. We knew quite a few people who were using it. So Rowan was raised on raw milk formula. So Jessa will still be producing enough milk to provide the new baby with formula. However, what happens if Jessa has to be treated for something or get sick and her milk production's not good for a week or two. Sorry, I was shaking a bit there. So I need to also freeze some of Mossy's milk, which I did, I've done before for Rowan, where I just froze it in one quart bags. And I only need about a gallon of milk per week. So if I can freeze like three gallons of milk for the baby, what's going on up there? That should be lots of backup. And if we end up not needing to use it, we can thaw it out and feed it to the pigs once Mossy freshens. I have some work goals that need to get done, but mostly if I just keep prioritizing Rowan's nap time is my work time, I can steadily just keep working on those and get most of my things done that I need to for membership, for YouTube, for a lot of it's just ongoing and I can't work too far ahead on it. Marius, his goals include finishing the basement this week and then next week he's gonna move on upstairs and we're gonna do a bit of bedroom swapping around. He's gonna build a set of bunk beds. He's got some things going on there. So that'll be interesting to see how that unfolds. And then I also have a list of things like I'm having a home birth with a midwife. So making sure I have enough towels on hand and making sure I have mattress protectors and you know, things we need for that. You know, I need new bottle nipples for the baby. I have little glass bottles, but they need new nipples. And I do buy some powdered formula, a European brand as a backup. Um, so I, that, also think I'm getting a bottle warmer to make it easier to warm up bottles. Anyhow, there's a nice rambly where we're at update as well as the basement and now I'm going to film our food storage but you'll see that in a separate video. There you go friends. There's our winter indoor projects. <laughs>